Well, we're learning that ANC President Sir Ramaphosa has walked out of the ANC's Women League's, uh, Women's League lecture in Limpopo due to what he deemed to be a lack of compliance with COVID-19 regulations. My colleague Samkele Maseko is out there for us and uh, he'll be there to tell us more. Samkele, tell us more. Indeed, Nampu, the ANC president, Cyril Ramaphosa, has effectively walked out of the ANC Women's League Lillian Goy lecture due to a lack of compliance to COVID-19 regulations. I will be stepping out of short as bit as we are trying to gather our cables together. As we walk towards the state security minister, I saw him earlier on, the deputy minister, Zizi Gotwa. Uh, he is going inside. He's with the Pinky Kekana there. I'm rushing towards them before they go inside the venue there. Uh, because he is the one who came in uh, to take the president out of the venue. We don't know why he decided to take uh, the president out of the venue. Uh, he is Mr. What you you why did you remove uh, the president from the venue because you came in? I did not remove the president. What did you do? Because the Women's League is hurt by your actions. No, I did not remove the president. It's a Women's League event. Maybe the women's they can tell you why the president left or why the is going to be there. What did exactly the president leave? you unhappy about the compliance? I, maybe ask the women's league. You, you are the Thank you very much. Let's head towards the women's league leadership. Here's the secretary general. Yeah, SG, yeah. just a summary yeah, colleagues, of uh, the essence of why there. the president walked out of your event after you welcomed them so warmly. Um, let's not create a non-existent narrative. The president did not walk out of the program of the ANC Women's League. What is happening is that we were not COVID-19 compliant. Then we decided to end our activity because we know the current situation in the country. We know the states every day. We know people are losing lives. Hence, we didn't want to risk as the leadership of the ANC and him as the president of the country and to the leadership of the ANC to continue with the event that is non-compliant. Women are there. They want to celebrate. They want to know about their leaders. So hence, we organized this kind of memorial lecture of Mam Lili and, Ngoi. and therefore, it, it should not be our narrative that the president walked out of the activity of the Women's League. He will come back, which is something that is very great. He will talk about Mam Ngoi, the leader of the ANC Women's League. And hence, we decided that we end the activity and we will reorganize. It can't be us who are not compliant to the rules that we have in the country. Contrary to what you are saying, uh, is you had deputy ministers in that venue. Mepin Kikekana behind you was there on the podium. She walked in after the president was in. You had the, pres the, the premier and your deputy president of the free state, Mamantombele. You had Natim Ted. You had a senior delegation of the governing party present in a non-compliant venue. Why did it have to take for your president to arrive for you to say, no, let's cancel this event because he's seemingly refusing to address because you're not complying. We, did you not see those numbers yourselves? It, it shouldn't be an issue or a narrative that says that we were very ignorant. And we, 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 we as the Women's League had arrived at a decision when we were advised by security that we are not compliant and therefore will not risk for the sake of risking the organization. And the narrative is that women wants to celebrate the birthday of the ANC, 110 years, but we were not compliant. And we are saying to their country, we humbly apologize as the leadership of the African National Congress Women's League. Hence, we ended the activity abruptly. It shouldn't be that a narrative that says that there is something between the leadership of the ANC and the Women's League. We are behind our leaders and we rally behind President Cyril Ramaphosa. Thank you very much, Secretary General. Can I please bring in the Deputy Minister just to speak for herself? Uh, Pink, why were you not complying to COVID regulations? You're the Deputy Minister. Why weren't you complying? I'm here as the leader of the Women's League and the, pro the SG has spoken and we abide by all what the ANC has said. But and you are a Deputy League. Minister. Again. That was utmost recklessness sitting in a in event that is not compliant and you don't raise the issue. Don't push a wrong narrative. All of us came to a determination 
that we are not complying and we have to call the event off. Because the Women's League, you've got egg on your faces right now. No, no, no. Women wanted to celebrate, women wanted to be part of this, and as the SG has spoken, uh, on behalf of the Women's League, we'll listen to what the Women's League says. If the President says there must be serious action for non-compliance, especially from members of the Executive and Deputy Ministers, are you willing to fall on your sword? Let's arrive at that when it comes. We'll have drinks soon. That is the Deputy Minister in the Presidency there. They were part and parcel of this event where the ANC President simply as much as they don't want to say it, refused to address their event, which was non-compliant to COVID-19 regulations. In fact, the sequence of events is when the president of the ANC arrived, the whole hall erupted and sang the usual song, Pagama Ramaphosa, all of them on stage. A mere five minutes after that, the deputy minister in the pres- in, of intelligence in the presidency, that would be Zizi Gotwa, came in with two bodyguards behind him, went straight to the ANC Women's League officials. They went to the back. But I mean, he stood up next to the ANC president, went to Zizugotwa at the back of the hall, followed by other party officials uh, and Women's League officials who went to engage with the deputy minister. A minute literally after that, the ANC president, Sul Ramaphosa, with his entourage, the bodyguards, stood up and walked out of the venue and went to this venue here behind us where he is currently in a meeting with the premier of the province Stanley Chupu Matabata the women's league deputy president Sisi Ntombela is also there but Abile Damini the ANC women's league president she is currently seated right there next to the treasurer general of the ANC women's league that would be they are seated there having engagements along with the deputy president, in fact, of the ANC Women's League. I'm just going to ask my colleague, Tabi Sorapakwana, you'll have to excuse us. Our shots may be a bit shaky as we try to get our equipment together, as we try and move to show you the visuals of the ANC Women's League leadership that is situated there. They don't want to speak, uh, but uh, we will just show visuals of them as we've spoken to their secretary general they are seated there and uh, essentially their event could not go ahead due to a lack of compliance uh, to COVID regulations we'll try and sneak in to the president of the ANC Women's League and the treasurer mayor and the TP mayor what I mean what happened inside non-compliance with uh, COVID rules Yes. Why didn't you see it earlier on? Why did uh, you have to be alerted with the president already inside? Because that may have caused you embarrassment as the Women's League. We went in there. Uh, at first, we were briefed and uh, we were told that uh, the number is uh, fine. And then when the event had just started, we were called again and informed that uh, we were not compliant. And when I asked the question you are asking, they told me that they were consulting at the time. That's it. So you feel as if some within your own ranks may have effectively tried to embarrass you no. or sabotage the event? Not really. This, this is not the first event. We went uh, to the Matabane family in the morning and uh, we went to the blousing ceremony and this was our third uh, event, so no one uh, would have uh, sabotaged us. We don't uh, believe in that, and it's a reality that you saw, that uh, we were not compliant. What are you going to do now? Are you going to engage the ANC president on the matters of the event being effectively postponed or cancelled? Yes, uh, we're going to have another event. We will uh, inform you as soon as we agree on the date of the event. Have you had an engagement with him since he walked out of the event? Yes, we have. What is he saying? I think uh, that must satisfy you that uh, we've had an engagement with the president and that uh, he will come and address uh, women. Uh, I'd just like to ask a question. You've got a premier seated next to you. You've got a a minister in the presidency. You've got an official in the Limpopo provincial government here and also a leader of the ANC. How come 
they were not able to say, guys, we're not compliant with COVID regulations here. Let's remove a few people from the event because effectively they've gone against their own regulations. We had a press briefing uh, with the SGO of the Women's League and now you've called everyone uh, to come here. We've uh, addressed you honestly. I don't think you should do this to us. Thank you. you feel Thank you very much. No, why, uh, why should I? We feel snapped. We are not snapped. She, he actually did not uh, understand what was going on up until uh, he was briefed about uh, what was happening uh, there. So we don't. No one feels uh, snapped. What do you have to say about the women who forced to come in after they say? No, the I can't has account uh, for those uh, women. Well, that was the leadership of the ANC Women's League. I've just grabbed my cable. Thank you very much. That was the leadership of the ANC Women's League. They're speaking about the event that has seemingly now been postponed to a later date. Sam Keller, if you can still hear me, please stay with us. Uh, you were there, obviously, witnessing the situation. Did you feel uncomfortable with the situation that you could observe at the time? Look, it was a bit uncomfortable because even when we came in, the police officers, uh, too, uh, their regard did say to us that uh, the event is already full, the hall is packed. There were about uh, 80 or 100 people whom were already outside the venue, whom they were refusing for them to go inside due to COVID regulations. So as much as their event was cancelled, they did try to a certain extent to try and manage the numbers of the people who were inside this Lebohumu Civic Centre Hall where their Lillian Goy lecture was going to take place. We were let in on the virtue that we are media practitioners. As you see now, they are going inside this Civic Centre Hall where the ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa is in, they will probably now have an engagement with the ANC President on what has transpired inside the hall that has led to them effectively having their events cancelled and being slapped with egg on their faces, uh, which is a point that they are essentially denying saying that there have been numerous events that they've had throughout the course of the day, saying that they were briefed on an annual basis on the numbers and saying that there is an engagement with the office of the president of the ANC, Cyril Ramaphosa, and then, bam, last minute, they were told that uh, the event can't continue due to a lack of compliance to COVID-19 regulations. We do know that the ANC president's convoy is still here and it is still parked on the other side where he was dropped off when he arrived to enter this hall where he was received with a very warm reception by those members and supporters of the ANC Women's League. But it uh, took Zizi Gotwa, the, the deputy minister in the presidency responsible for state security to come in, inform the women's leadership and then his boss, the number one citizen of the country, the number one uh, member of the African National Congress then stood up and walked out of the event. Mm. All right, Sam Kele, thanks very much. I'm sure they'll be more cautious ahead of their 110th celebrations uh, come Saturday.